Hi, I'm Oscar from Elmer Racing and yeah, you guys have been asking for updates on what we're doing with our project and how things are going. So here goes, I'll try to keep this short but I can't promise you anything because I just like blabbering on way too much, but uh, we'll try. So oh, still in selfie mode, okay. So here are our collector stuff, they're actually going very very well at the moment, the drag racers have really found found these. So these are typical for a V8 type application with a twin turbo, so the pro mod stuff and lots of other racers are using those. They're so much stronger than welded ones and yeah they hold up to ignition cut launch control stuff and really really heavy abuse. So. Yeah, and I don't end up needing to weld those like after every other run or anything like that. Um, yeah, our Thor engine, um, as most of you probably know, did uh, really well in World Time Attack uh, last year. That was about uh, three months ago, something like that, I guess. And yeah, the RP968 won the World Championship there at uh, Sydney Motorsport Park was great stuff, new lap record and everything, so still not fully designed, but yeah, the prototype is, is quite far along. Um, yeah, it's even um, so far along actually that, that we are looking at some uh, moonshot project basically for that. Let's just see. It. Yeah, there's a secret project there that you guys didn't see. Sorry about that. <laughs> So let's head over here. So uh, yeah, we're uh, looking at doing a moonshot project. Maybe we'll have to see where I need to get some initial guesses going first First on that. So that's uh, basically aviation use for uh, the Thor engine. It, it is designed uh, for uh, yeah, circuit racing stuff and racing use. So there are not like huge margins, but Design-wise, it is very, very conservative still, so, so there should be a really good potential to, to be able to develop that. Of course, it's uh, yeah, nowhere near ready for aviation use at the moment, but, but we'll have to see because yeah, we could, we could beat the uh, current uh, turboprop engines on both power-to-weight ratio and fuel efficiency, and it's also, I mean, very compact. It would be much, much uh, smaller space uh, space requirements also than the current turboprop engines. Of course, yeah, running it at at sort of 80% um, or 90% full power for a thousand hours or 3,000 hours maybe to be competitive with uh, with the uh, turboprop engines would take quite a lot of development, but it's nothing impossible. But I'm yeah. Before I get way way ahead of myself with that, I yeah just wanted to tell you guys because. Yeah, you, you follow us and uh, post about stuff uh, uh, on us on the forums and that's really important to us. So, And I mean, yeah, we will be posting uh, pictures about uh, heading over to uh, Avalon anyway to, to yeah, hopefully meet some airplane manufacturers there and see if there is some major stuff that I'm missing completely about, about the aviation use because there might very well be. I have absolutely, well, I wouldn't say maybe zero knowledge of aviation stuff, but not very much so. Well, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, yeah, some more peaks at our uh, Thor engine here. Our uh, own test engine is is quite far along. The uh, yeah, as you can see, camshafts are installed, valves are installed. This is uh, from the uh, PRI show, basically where we had that. So we have um, dual injector locations here, one for each valve. Um, yeah, what else do we have? Uh, we do have so some componentry so uh, turbo smart components this is a blow off valve race port uh, sensor sensor cap for this I mean they have the best stuff for for that at the moment so that's what we, we want to be using and contacted them and they will be yeah happy to to um, support our our Thor engine and ER8 project so we're working with them on that on that now so Going to be running their waste gates, uh, f fuel pressure, uh, uh, fuel pressure regulators, uh, fuel filters. Um, the so a pressure regulator for the oil feed to the turbocharger also, and 
I mean, they have all the good stuff and sensors on everything, which is very, very important for, for this type of, um, for this level stuff. And yeah, we have the intake plenum here, intake runners. Uh, we have the um, girdle here also underneath, trying to stack stuff up and get things a little bit more organized here in, at the moment also. It's, I mean, yeah, never finished, but yeah. Here are some um, tires for our ER8. So just to put this into perspective, this is my hand. And yeah, lining up at the bottom and uh, it's uh, almost two hand width <laughs> wide this and they have a huge diameter. But that is really important because you need to have uh, both a uh, really good, really large width and a high and a really high profile also on the tires to be able to hold for the downforce loads that we're running or well we'll be running with the uh, aerodynamics we, we have set up on that and yeah braid gave us a good deal on some uh, rims also or two sets actually yeah the car is uh, the er8 is nowhere near finished yet so once we realized that we weren't going to make it to world time attack we took a step back and decided to do things uh, the right way instead of getting things done quickly so yeah we're putting it together slowly but but uncertainly it <laughs> looks like at the moment now we're, we're going to get it done but yeah the roll cage is completely done we have the uh, center part of the firewall done there we have the um, mounts for the gearbox and differential are here also in place we have a quick change uh, diff here I'll probably need to do another video about more in-depth on the technical stuff on the ER8 but um, yeah our dynamic stuff we need to do some uh, more calculations on those but things are going forward I mean the, the only sort of a uh, big technical stuff still to be decided on the car are basically uh, what kind of uh, hubs we're going to be running or uh, uprights I guess they're called uh, so yeah if, are we going to run our own design on those or are we just going to um, yeah find something good to use directly it, I mean it's good to have a little bit of time to figure this out also so we don't end up wasting huge amounts of, of uh, yeah, time doing doing stuff that is is not critical or could have been done uh, much simpler with with some other type of solution. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. And is there anything I'm forgetting? Hopefully not. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll try to put out a little bit more videos because yeah, you guys want want information and we want to tell that, but. We always have so much to do that it's difficult to to sort of allocate the time to do these videos but i think it is important to get the information out to you guys so we'll see how it goes but uh yeah stay tuned and we'll have to see how our uh, moonshot stuff goes and if we get started with the aviation stuff or not and uh, yeah how the rest of our stuff progresses and uh, yeah we have a rallycross uh, engine uh, looks like we're going to be completing that project also this year so exciting times <laughs> We'll see. Bye-bye.